There are some folk in Connemara, and at them I'll never mock, for they have seen a terrible beast, a beast, a beast, rise out of the lock. It's dreadful, it's these men and women are professionals. Professionals in a rather exotic field, but they're as expert at their jobs as any people in these islands. They are hunters. Hunters of monsters. Captain Lionel Leslie, founder member of the Loch Ness Phenomena Investigation Bureau, retired regular army officer. When I was here two years ago, I heard that a local man had had a sighting here. So I went to meet him with his brother, who'd also been present, and he described how about a hundred yards away from this lake, one day he saw an animal swimming in it. At first he thought it was a heifer, but then when he looked again, it was a great big sort of eel-like head, and as it turned over, he noticed that the underneath part was white. Then, since that time, I have had news that in February of last year, uh, the same man was walking with his children beside this lake, and they saw this creature again, this time much nearer. So he sent one of the children back to fetch his wife, and they watched it for some time. Holly Arnold, an American, secretary to the Bureau. Well, I generally handle the correspondence that we get and we get things from all over the world. Uh, all different kinds of people, usually amateurs who are just interested. Ivor Newby, a skin diver. Uh, I haven't come in here to dive for fun. There's no fun diving here or at Loch Ness. Uh, it's purely on interest. Uh, underwater, one can see what the bottom looks like. One can see what the uh, water looks like from underneath and any vegetation and, and what have you, which of course you can't do from the surface. And Ted Holliday, author of the best-selling The Great Orm of Loch Ness, the latest in a long list of books about the age-old monster of that mysterious Scottish lake. I've been going up to Loch Ness now for seven years, spending anything from uh, three weeks to as much as two months up there, keeping observation on the loch with binoculars and camera, uh, trying to get a good picture of this phenomena that everyone talks about. But for the moment, they've forsaken the mists of Inverness Shire for the stormy, wet and windswept bogs of Connemara, because they believe that here there is a lake monster. But not just one lake monster. Two, or maybe even three monsters, may, perhaps, inhabit these lakes. Loch Orna, Loch Glan, the Killery. Between Clifton and Leenan, there's hardly a lake, or a pond even for that matter, that doesn't have its monster legend its tale about what people hereabouts call horse eels.